We know quality research begins with quality resources. How then do we discern the most appropriate resources for academic research? Whether it's evaluating books, articles, reference works, or references found on the web. You should consider several issues when determining the quality of a potential resource. Accuracy is one of the most important criteria in selecting resources for inclusion in our research. We want to ensure that the information we use is credible and reliable. You can ask yourself a few basic questions that are helpful for determining the accuracy of a resource. Does the work cite the sources for its information? Does the work contain a bibliography? Are the hyperlinks for cited internet sources valid? Are the sources that the author cites authoritative sources? And has the work been peer-reviewed? When evaluating works, think about the audience for whom the work is intended. Is the work detailed, technical, and full of academic jargon? Or is it written in a simple and accessible style? Such questions will often determine whether or not a work should be used in your research. If a theological work on the deity of Christ was intended for high schoolers or college freshmen, it would likely not be an appropriate source to use in a master's level paper on the subject. When selecting a work, we want to think about its authority. We should ask questions like, who wrote this work and was he or she qualified to write it? Do other reputable authors cite this work? Where was the author educated? And is the author an expert on this subject? When selecting journal articles, you may also want to ask whether or not this journal is peer reviewed. Peer review is a process by which submitted articles are evaluated by a scholar's peer. It ensures that the research reflects the best scholarship available in a given field. You may find it helpful to contact a research expert in the library to help you find peer reviewed articles in your field. When evaluating web sources, two factors can help determine authority. If you gather resources from subscription databases available through the library's databases page, they may have more authority than resources you find on the open web. When gathering resources on the open web, the URL structure of a link can often serve as an indicator of authority. Domain names that end in .edu, .gov, or .org can be a signpost that a website is more authoritative. When selecting resources, it is also good to be aware of any bias that a particular publisher might have. This can help ensure that you address the many different theological perspectives on a topic and prevent your research from being overly narrow in scope. Ask questions like, does this publisher select works from a particular philosophical bent? Is the publisher associated with a religious body? And does the publisher tend to publish works that are only representative of one perspective, such as evangelicalism, Roman Catholicism, or theological liberalism? Select works that represent the most current research on a given field. This is not to suggest that older works have no value. Older works often help us to understand the history of a discipline and why the contemporary academic discussion looks the way it does. Using older works in this way can really enhance your research, but older works have often been thoroughly critiqued by more modern studies. If you want to use an older resource, it is important to determine that contemporary resources have not improved upon or critiqued its argument. To determine if your resource is current, look at a recently published work in your field. What are the dates of the sources used in that work? This practice can help you determine what is considered current in your field. You should also think carefully about the purpose for which an article, book, or web source was written. Is the author striving to be persuasive or just a scribe? Is the work seeking to further research or is it trying to review all the literature on a given subject? Is the author trying to show you how to do something? Was it intended to be a textbook? The purpose of the work will often determine whether or not it is suitable for your research. When pursuing research, you want to ensure that the resources you use are relevant to the subject. Ask questions like, does this resource pertain to my topic? And is this resource too broad or too narrow in focus for the purposes of my research? Questions like these will help determine whether or not the subject is relevant. Accuracy, audience, authority, bias, currency, purpose, and relevance. 
By thinking carefully about these seven factors, you can ensure that you will select high quality resources for your research. If you have any questions about selecting resources for your research, please contact a Boyce librarian or one of their research experts.